Welcome to Alchemical Science. I'm Jordan, and I'm interested in absolutely everything. Alright, this is just a quick update on uh, where we're going with the rodent coil research, the direction we're going to be taking it next. Um, I'm disappointed to say that we are ceasing work on this design. Um, we've decided that it's it's not the right direction to go in, although it does show a ton of interesting properties and it's, look, there are unique coils. Um, and we were working on an ester design to um, add another layer, you know, add another nest on there, uh, a fifth order coil, uh, according to Tom Barnett's terminology. But yeah, we've just decided to stop work on this altogether. Um, and not because we're not interested in rodent coils or vortex based maths anymore, but because this isn't a correct representation of vortex based maths in a 3D toroid. Um, we started with Tom Barnett's work because he was the only person really starting to break down um, Marco Roden's work in any intelligible way that applied it to toroid design. But um, last week or the week before, Marco Roden was kind enough to reach out to us um, and spend a number of hours explaining the maths, answering questions, clarifying things for us. Um, and we've, yeah, we've just realized that there, there's some real fundamental problems with the way that this toroid is designed. Um, and look, I think that every step closer towards establishing a correct model is helpful, you know, like, honestly, I couldn't even be thinking about these subjects or understanding VBM at all um, without just getting into it and, you know, trying to just see how it all fits together and problem solve and try and work it out. Because the reality is, is the information isn't out there, you know, there is no course, you know, of lesson, you know, one to 10 on, on vortex based mathematics and how to apply it for to toroid design, so um, I haven't done it, and um, pretty much no one has. So, so really, I think we're all going to need to wait for Marco to present his work in a more comprehensible way um, before I could even begin to, you know, bridge the topic. To be honest, because it's it's deep and big, and you know, when you're not just thinking about you know, making formers and, and how you can wind a wire around it. When you're thinking about it from another perspective, um, you really need to understand the maths um, because they're really important. Um, they've got a lot more to do with physics and how the natural world works um, than this coil represents or utilizes. Um, so, Essentially, we're scrapping this design completely. If, you know, it's still going to be up there on the internet, download them, have fun with it if you want. Um, I probably would have, even if someone had told me I'm not going down that path anymore. Here's the designs. That's effectively what we did, you know, when we when we found the original 3D print designs that we could find online. We were just like, we don't care if they're wrong, we just need to start somewhere. So I won't be taking those down and um, we can even upload the fifth order design we haven't tried it. Um, it does fit together. It could use a little bit of work on the design. You might have to get in there with a Stanley knife and just kind of um, work at a few of the fittings a little bit, but otherwise it's it's fine. You can build um, the three nested coils with it. So yeah, I'll leave those up. Um, feel free to experiment. It's not the path we're going down anymore. I will explain the path we're going down um, not in the too distant future, um, but I just want to kind of do it first and find out if we're, yeah, if we're going down the right path again, because sometimes it's not good to just release information that you haven't really verified yet. So I'll drop a, a few hints of where we're going with it in case anyone is really interested. Um, but we're going to be designing a solid 3D toroid um, and you know, so rather than these separate formers, uh, we're not going to be using wires at all. Um, I'd recommend checking out the work of Robert Murray Smith and 
some of the things he's done with graphene and different inks and stuff like that. And yeah, otherwise, um, Emma's going to be working on the designs. I'm going to be working on some of the more material considerations of the build. Uh, and we're both exploring how more deeply how vortex-based mathematics can be applied to the design of these toroids. And we, we feel we're um, a lot more onto something. Um, yeah. That's about all for now, I think. That's probably all I can really say. I just wanted to kind of give a heads up that we're, we're not working on these designs anymore. I'm happy to answer any questions about them, but as far as where are we going with it, we're not. We're not using wire anymore. We're not using these formers anymore. We're not using connections anymore. And I'm not gonna be using as many components in the circuit, if any components in the circuit. <sighs> very, uh, very secret sounding, isn't it? It's really, it's really because it's just such a strange idea that I, I don't want to put it out there until I try it. Wish me luck. Thanks everyone.